Here is an overview of casings cemented in a well. Called primary cementing, the cement's main jobs are to completely isolate or totally seal off all the oil, gas, and water zones from the well bore, and to bond the casing firmly to the wall of the hole. Here, the crew has drilled the well to the casing point, the depth at which they will set and cement casing. The driller circulates drilling mud to clean the hole and to make sure the mud is in good condition. Then, the crew pulls the drill string out of the hole. The next step in primary cementing is for the casing crew to run the casing into the well, one joint at a time. Notice at the bottom of the casing, the guide shoe and float collar. Also notice the centralizers and scratchers. The guide shoe guides the first joint of casing into the well bore. A valve in the float collar lets the crew float the casing into the well to lessen the load on the rig's hoisting system. Centralizers keep the casing off the wall of the hole to ensure a good cement job. And scratchers remove wall cake to ensure a good cement bond to the wall of the hole. The cementing crew next readies a cementing unit. The cementing unit rapidly mixes water, dry cement, and special additives to the cement to make a liquid cement slurry. A high pressure cement pumping unit moves the slurry down the casing. To get the cement slurry down the casing, the cementing crew makes up a cementing head, also called a plug retainer, on the top joint of casing suspended in the rig's elevator. The cementing head has an inlet for the cement slurry from the cement pump. Slurry enters the head at the connection on the side. The valves on the head allow the crew to control the point at which the slurry enters the head. From the cementing head, the slurry goes into the casing. The head also holds special plugs called wiper plugs. The wiper plug retainers keep the wiper plugs in the head until the crew releases them to allow the plugs to be pumped down the casing. The fluid inlet allows the crew to pump mud, water, or a special displacement fluid, the fluid that pushes the cement into the annulus. This head holds two wiper plugs, a bottom wiper plug, and a top wiper plug. The bottom plug goes into the casing first. It wipes mud off the inside of the casing and separates the mud from the cement. The top plug follows the last of the cement into the casing. It wipes cement off the inside of the casing and separates cement from the displacement fluid. Often, the wiper plugs are identified by different colors to avoid confusion. The bottom plug is usually red or orange. It has a diaphragm that breaks when the plug gets to the bottom of the casing string, so the cement can pass through the plug. The top plug is usually black. Cement pump pressure moves the cement slurry to the cementing head, where a crew member releases the bottom wiper plug. Slurry pushes the bottom plug down the casing, until it seats in the float collar. When the plug seats, continued pump pressure on the slurry ruptures a diaphragm on the bottom of the plug. This allows cement slurry to go out the guide shoe and into the annulus. When the calculated amount of cement slurry has been pumped, a crew member releases the top wiper plug. Displacement fluid forces the top wiper plug down the casing until it seats in the float collar on the top of the bottom plug. Because the top plug is solid, pump pressure rises when the plug seats. A sharp rise in pump pressure signals the pump operator to shut down the pump. The float valve holds the cement in place, not allowing it to U-tube back into the casing once it is displaced into the annulus. The cementing job is complete. Depending on hole conditions and the type of cement used, the cement slurry hardens or sets up firmly, generally within 12 to 24 hours.